is the part that gets edited out. This is the part that gets edited out. This is the part that gets edited out. Hi ho, Keegan the Vlog here. Welcome back to the DeLorean Fascia Project. And uh, here we have, uh, we went, out, went ahead and grabbed this from the car guys and uh, we are going to do the repair work on this and then hand it back to them to do the paint and finish work on this after we take care of the eyebrows. So this is a well-known problem of DeLoreans and just 40-year-old plastic. And uh, there's no reinforcement here on the bottom side of, of the urethane bumper. So what happens over time is this is really a sun issue. It's not a light issue. Uh, the, the light really doesn't generate the heat to, uh, to deform this. This is a sun fading thing and lack of support on the front. So what we're gonna do is reshape it with heat and, uh, and some steel bars and then permanently reinforce it by gluing in uh, some aluminum bars so that yeah, using aluminum for anti-corrosion purposes uh, as opposed to using the steel which will just rust away over time and I don't really want to take this apart again. Flatten out these curves and then grab it, put some paint on it. Except for right here. Oh, you do have another bar in the back there. Yep. another two plus hours of elbow grease and uh, we're up to a thousand grit not happy about the color when it's dry but that can be fixed um, I'm back to thinking I might want to try this out with uh, with just the bare polyurethane, uh, the black bumper, because I, I like a matte black could look really cool. Anyway, back at it. Many months later. Wow, it has been months on this project. So uh, originally was trying to bring this down to just bare, uh, just the just the bare urethane uh, and leave it matte black and I think it would look fantastic like that however there are some imperfections here and I believe this was the application of heat I believe that was the application of heat that we used um, when we were trying to get the paint off of it instead of using a chemical stripper so um not going to be able to to do the plan of the bare urethane still think that would look cool um so we're going to paint it uh but we still have to deal with fixing the eyebrows the warpage here so we have some aluminum strips to glue in there and uh to complicate matters it's just it's winter time it's cold out so uh getting a a, a place to to make paint work is now a challenge. Oh. This is the part that 
gets edited out. This is the part that gets edited out. This is the part that gets edited out. This is the part that gets edited out because editing. Ah, finally have the fascia painted. Made the executive decision to make it black. I really want to get this car back on the road. It is, uh, it's been sitting longer, longer than it's ever sat on my watch, actually. Uh, uh, pretty close when, uh, when we did our kitchen renovation. It was in storage for about a year. Uh, I had to do all sorts of things to get it back on the road after that, like rebuild all the brake calipers, put new suspension in, all of that stuff. Um, so I, I hate letting these cars sit, and uh, I've just been working my tail off on on rad, getting ready for Radwood. Now Radwood is over. We can turn our attention to, we can turn our attention to uh, other things like the DeLorean. Oh, new stuff. Okay, number one thing, the hood hinges have to go in here. She's back together enough to drive, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back on Monday and get this thing out and uh, beat it on down the line. <laughs>